Hey everybody, welcome to What the Flick. Hannah, Alonzo, it's Empire Season 2, Episode 12, yeah. A Rose by Any Other Name. Uh, things happened this, this week. This was a big episode. <laughs> a big episode. Yeah. I felt 50-50 about it, because I was like, really engaged and excited about it, but then I was like, am I watching a soap opera? Well, of course you're watching a soap opera. <laughs> so I mean, I now. When, when they started Lion Dynasty, and I thought, oh yeah, Dynasty is another word for empire. Oh, now I know what this show is. Uh... It's totally a soap opera. But it's also a musical in a way that yes. I haven't really appreciated until now in terms of how you have people singing and it, in the world of this show, they don't, mm -hmm. it doesn't, they don't have to just burst into song. Like there's, a, there's an excuse and a platform for it, but they are, they're, they're using the songs to establish character and to move the plot forward. It's it's an adult glee. Yeah, it's an in adult a way, glee, or, yeah. or, or 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 a you know a black smash. I don't know however you want to call it, but I mean, but Glee was very much obviously a jukebox show. Mm -hmm. This one, they're they're actually writing the songs, and the songs are so specific to the moments, or at least they can be. Right. So you have both Hakeem and Jamal having these songs where they are sort of staking out their ground and explaining yeah. who they are. Uh, in a way that, 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 you know, we don't get a lot on television. I think, that, and that's a, you know, I mean, I guess, I think uh, a Crazy Ex-Girlfriend has been mm, mapping into that territory a little bit. But, yeah, I mean, it, and I think they were very effective this week as far as, like, those songs weren't just sort of like this moment of, hey, there's some cool music, but they, they actually served a purpose to the plot and the characters. Yeah, I completely agree with you. I think there were two instances where that was really uh, made clear, I think, one with uh, Jamal's song that he yes. was singing to Lucius. Mm -hmm. That was probably my favorite song of the entire series. Uh, and then the song that uh, Jamal and Hakeem sang to Andre, which was so touching, mm. and I teared up. Yeah. Um, and that really, I think, developed the storyline and created this relationship on a whole new level. Oh, totally. And then, but also then Jamal's song about being the guy in charge and mm -hmm. you know that stuff, which is obviously you know the usual Jamal amount of braggadocio, but yeah. at least kind of that's that's the headspace he's in, and, and or at least that's what being CEO means to him. Right. More than the actual, I think, under understanding of the. I would have liked to have seen the point where at some point Jamal was going to have to actually like sit in a bunch of really boring meetings and like make these really dull minutiae decisions. He never has to do that. He's just no. sort of strutting around going, I'm CEO. Yeah, you know? when Hake anytime Hakeem <laughs> makes a decision, he's got like a drink in hand, a girl <laughs> on his arm, and he's like, yes, yes, but apparently that's what being a CEO means. <laughs> so, uh, but boy, big, uh, you know, I given how complicated they made the whole setup of mm -hmm. I'm forgetting all the character names now, but you know, Marissa Tomei and Mimi and, Mimi and, and, and uh, Naomi Campbell. Camilla. Uh, Kim, thank you. Mimi and Camilla and their whole sort of corporate takeover. Boy, they wrap that up quick. Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering about that. So I feel like it's too easy that she dies. Right, you know what I mean? She took the poison, so I feel right. like there has to be some twist there. And she conveniently like unloads all of her stocks, you know, beforehand, so it's not like they have to worry about them getting tied up in any sort of like, you know, uh, uh, inheritance court. She she dumps the stocks, Andre snaps them up. Yeah. And then, you know, she gets killed and and then Lucius talks Camilla into killing herself, which he kind of has a point at that point. Yeah, I mean, you know. she, he made a great point. He made a great argument. Yeah, um, it's a little, things are a little ugly. And then she was just like, you know. oh, guess you're right. Like, no second thought. Like, maybe I'm in a vulnerable situation. I mean, maybe I should think this through. Nope. Glug, glug, just, like, glug, glug, yeah. glug. But that really proves she was a really great actress. Do you know what I mean? Like, when you saw those crazy eyes, mm -hmm. I was really impressed with her, her acting skills. No, I, Naomi Campbell was actually good in this show in, in the same way that, you know, goof on Mariah Carey for glitter all you want. You got to acknowledge she was really good and precious. Yeah. And I think, again, Lee Daniels takes this woman that we don't necessarily think of as being mm. a serious performer or someone to take seriously and then gives them a role where they just, you know, it's really right in shine. their wheelhouse. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I mean, that was a crazy scene, and I didn't expect it. You know mm. what I mean? With the sex tape, I was really impressed with uh, Hakeem's sort of manipulative uh, skills that we haven't really seen him sure. think really, you know, ahead into the future. So he, that was great that he, he... He, like Jamal, is his father's son. Yes, he <laughs> definitely, definitely uh, is. But then kind of going into... I didn't expect her to, like, kill her. I expect, if anything, the opposite way, Mimi killing Sure, Camilla. or, or, or arranging for her gonna to be kill. a death. But then Mimi was already terminal, so, you know, the yeah. like, show didn't really want to deal with that, I'm sure, so... <laughs> Um, I want every, I want a super cut of every sentence that Cookie says to Hakeem that starts with boy, 
Because oh <laughs> like he would say something ridiculous, and she would just be like, "Boy, I'm blah blah blah." I was like, "Wow, that's every time she did it, it just it was it was like." <laughs> Their relationship has evolved so much. I feel yeah. like from the beginning, because in the beginning, remember, she, he wouldn't even talk to her mm -hmm. or acknowledge her presence, and now he treats her really as the queen. Well, yeah, I think you know they they've all been through the mill with Lucia so much yeah. that Cookie then becomes sort of the island of respite until they wind up drifting back over to Lucia's and then back and forth, and mm -hmm. it's constant. A, a, a tug of war with those two. Um, and then you've got Andre, and, and I, I'll be curious to see if the show pursues this, but I think the idea of somebody who is dealing with uh, mental illness, yeah. um, then having every emotion second guessed, you know? So in other words, if he actually sees something happening mm -hmm. that maybe other people aren't catching on to and points it out, is the, is the default Re response always going to be, oh, you're being paranoid. You must be about to have an episode. You it know, like that, that's so frustrating because because maybe he is, but maybe he's actually right. You know. No, I think <laughs> that's a really good point because it does seem like everything that he says is second guessed because of uh, his status of being of, of having you know a mental disability, right? Mm -hmm. And so I think when he talks about his vision. Uh, that, that uh, God, what's his wife's name? Uh, Rhonda. Rhonda was pushed down the stairs. Yeah. She's like, oh, you're being crazy. Oh, you're just imagining things, whatever. But maybe that's just good intuition. But we just write it off because of his medical history, which isn't really fair. And I think, again, that echoes a lot of the way that we treat people in society who have uh, some sort of like mental impairment. Well, exactly, yeah. And so I, I think it would be an interesting avenue for the show to pursue where he, that he's actually right about something. But well, he's right about the falling, pushing Well, yeah, stairs. totally. But but I mean, the thing that he's got maybe a little more evidence to back yeah, up, you know. Yeah. Uh, and 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 that the show, the people on the show, to kind of feel like have to realize, all right, we can't like everything that comes out of your mouth doesn't have to be filtered through, you know, your bipolar disorder that you may actually know what you're talking about sometimes. Right. So. And I loved that he called her on, and they made it a a, a thing of the fact that Cookie called him crazy. Mm, yeah. Because we throw that word around a lot. Sure, and no, I think that that was important that Lee Daniels is really making a poignant thing yeah. about that because it's not and, acceptable. And and again, the 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 whole, you know, they they're still going down this road of of Jamal kind of saying like, "You know what? I slept with some women." Doesn't mean I'm not gay. Right. Doesn't mean I'm not down for the struggle. Doesn't mean I'm not part of the community. Doesn't mean I don't consider myself part of the community. And that's a conversation that even for gay people is not necessarily a sort of daily occurrence. Right. So to have this like big show, not just have like, oh, here's our gay character, you know, aren't we progressive? But then to actually get into these topics that are kind the of complicated. Of yeah, yeah, that's that's really interesting stuff. No, it is. I think they tackle a lot of really big issues and it's impressive the way they do it and you can still feel like you're watching a soap opera. Oh, you're watching a soap opera. <laughs> Let's not be mistaken, but the, but it's a really good one. You yeah. know? I don't say that as a bad thing. That's not a slur, but I mean, you know, there are, there are great ones and there are crappy ones and mm -hmm. this has been a pretty great one yeah uh, especially this week so and I'm yeah. excited to see what's happening next week should we talk about cookies uh, birthday party she wants it relaxed we know it's gonna be anything but that. <laughs> of course anything uh, but that nothing yeah whatever that that's your that's your cue of like oh I just don't want it to be a big deal oh, we, She's cue, the, down. cue the big deal yeah <laughs> all right so good stuff Hannah thanks yeah. so much for for sitting in and we'll be back next week